It doesn't get any more tension-packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup Final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us. We'll have it all for you coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Italy against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Plays alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Federico Chiesa on the flanks. And the responsibility of leading the line today goes to Ciro Immobile. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. is underway Casemiro Rafinha Richarlison Richarlison now with Vinicius Junior it's going to be Neymar and that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him Federico Chiesa Barella Insigne determined defending Vinicius Junior back to Neymar Vinicius Junior and an astute piece of defending well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease. Ferrati! And there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup Final! Incredible celebrations! Well, as the replay shows us, Barella's pass is inch perfect and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. underway, 1-0 it is Casemiro
Vinicius Junior. Richarlison. Return to Paqueta. Might be dangerous. Oh, great block. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Paqueta. Oh, superb skill. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Bonucci. Barella has it. Immobile. Now Verratti. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. It is a decent looking attack here. Vinicius Jr. And will it be the leveller? Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Vinicius Junior. And well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Federico Chiesa. Neymar and Neymar a chance to whip it in Neymar oh and it goes to propel them into the lead just what they wanted Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Richarlison and a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Federico Chiesa Chiesa defended well Casemiro Richarlison and the counter-attack is on options available Richarlison and return to Vinicius and Italy with the ball again Ciro Immobile and now with Di Lorenzo Verratti and the emphasis is on creativity Chiesa. Now with Barella, a fine block. Chiesa. Well, they really had to be on their toes defensively given the circumstances. Vinicius Junior. On the ball, Richarlison. Keeper had work to do.
They take it short. Deschamps is on. Textbook defending inside the box. Jorginho. Barella has it. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Paqueta. Chance to finish. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Jorginho. Insigne. The first half here comes to an end. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Chiesa. Oh, a vital interception. Neymar. Insigne. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, that's a fine save. Who can they pick out? Well, thumps clear. Barella. And on to... And it might be. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement. And from that sort of range, you'd be shocked if his mobile missed out. He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he really is. The ball is moving again. 3 2. Vinicius Jr. Return to Richarlison. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Outrageously skillful. Verratti. Immobile. Immobile! Was he made from moments like this on an occasion like this? Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Verratti, and then it's a clinical finish from Immobile. The outcome was never in doubt, was it? You just knew he would score from there. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Rafinha. Well, it's a good Brazil move in the making. Now a decent position. Neymar! Oh, and it goes! To propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted.
Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then from that sort of range, Neymar was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. Barella, promising attack this, Chiesa, this could square the game, and that's exactly what has transpired, now that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish, but the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better, he's got to have that near post cover for me. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. Richarlison, can he give them the lead? Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. And I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Insigne, and space to cross it, oh, breezing past him, Insigne, on the ball, Richarlison, and a good tackle, well, beating his opponent. Twenty minutes remaining. Danilo. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Neymar. Here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tight in here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? Bonucci, now with Jorginho, 15 minutes left for play, and taking it away, Verratti, breaking at pace, great pressure to win the ball back, could reduce the deficit, that is a tackle and a half. Casemiro. On the ball, Richarlison. And Neymar. It might be. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Immobile. 
Difficult to stop him. But a crucial intervention inside the box. Vinicius Junior. Richarlison. And back with Vinicius. Opportunity it is. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Well, opting for the short corner. Richarlison. Spot on with that tackle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. All hands on deck. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. And Neymar, and back with Vinicius. Neymar. And he read it superbly. Richarlison. Now with Vinicius Junior. Back with Richarlison. Credit to them for winning back possession. And the referee brings this final to an end for the first time in 20 years. Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.